Hey guys, Brosing here. Today I wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how to install cruise control into Streamlabs OBS, as well as give you a few example trigger commands that you can use yourself. Cruise Control is a script developed by Cruiser 8 that allows you to automate and customize an array of trigger points to enhance your stream. This video also assumes you've already downloaded and installed Cruise Control from the Cruiser 8 GitHub. You can find a link to that below in the description. Before we begin, I want to preface that the version of Cruise Control we're using is 1.1 and Streamlabs is 0.21.2. Installation process, the way these things work could change at any time depending on how Streamlabs or Cruiser 8 develops their tools. So to begin the process of installing Cruise Control into Streamlabs, already assuming that Cruise Control has been downloaded, we're going to navigate to the folder, the master folder, and you're going to open settings. And we're going to start with the channel points setting. And the reason I include channel points in this demo is because it's probably one of the most interactive and awesome customizations that you can add to your stream. Uh, I'm not aware of any tools at the time of this video that can really do this besides cruise control. Uh, so really great feature to learn and it's very easy to set up. All it needs is the user channel name. So you'll go in here. Obviously my channel's browsing. Just put your, your whatever comes after the backslash in twitch.tv. Save that and you're done. Now for the chat settings, fairly straightforward. Again, we have our user do text document. You're just gonna wanna include your Twitch channel in there and save it. And then we have an OAuth file, which is where we need to get a Twitch IRC token. Now you can open this up. I've blurred it for the purposes of this video, but I'm going to generate a new one here. With this open, well, you don't really have to have it open, I guess, but go ahead and navigate to the Twitch chat password generator. The link is in the description. Cruiser's linked that for us. Uh, and you're just going to click connect. You may have to sign in. Mine automatically recognizes. Uh, and it'll generate a password to log in. So you're going to copy that. Go back to your notepad. Delete everything from the file and paste that in directly and save it. Now the last setting we need to set up is your actual Streamlabs integration. And for this, you're going to need a socket API token. And just like the Twitch IRC token, you can find a link to where you can go directly into Streamlabs from this, from the cruise control documentation. I have it pulled up here in Chrome for this example. So let's open this file and we'll open Chrome. And basically, you're just going into your API settings in your Streamlabs dashboard. See a socket API token. This is the one you need. Don't need to worry about your API access token. Just click copy. It'll copy it to your clipboard. And again, clear everything out of this file. Paste in your token and hit save. All right, so we've set everything up. Now we actually want to put cruise control into Streamlabs OBS. And how do we do that? So we're going to open Streamlabs OBS and we're going to create a separate scene. And I'll explain why in a second for cruise control. We're actually going to add the index file that can be found in the cruise control master folder as a local browser source. You'll add like browser source. We'll just call it cruise control and then you're going to check local file go to browse to open up our master and here's our index file choose that click open I uncheck shut down source when visible this will not affect cruise control this is just a personal OCD preference uncheck that and click done and cruise control has now been added as a scene in Yes. So the reason we use cruise control in its own separate scene is we're actually going to nest that into all our regular stream scenes. And the reason we do that is because if we had added cruise control as its own separate source for each scene, we would have to refresh each index file manually for every scene instead of just clicking one button and it being done for the whole stream. It's much easier, much simplistic process to push through any new code or triggers that you develop when you're updating and editing these uh, trigger files. All right, so we got everything installed. Now we need to test it to make sure it's working. Now, before we begin, make sure that you've added your cruise control scene into your main scene as a source. This will make sure that cruise control actually works when you're sending chat commands or doing 
channel point redemptions, etc. when you're testing these things off stream. So we'll go to our cruise control master file and we're going to click on the triggers file. Triggers is where we're going to write the pseudocode that Cruisers created for this script. Um, by default, it comes with a chat command that allows us to test to see if the index file is actually working. So we're just going to type exclamation point example. And if we've set this up correctly, we should see a chat message that says success. It worked. And let's try that right here. Awesome. So the chat integration is working. Now we're going to do a demo showing you a little more complex variation of a Streamlabs scene alert that works from a channel redemption. All right, so this example is a bit more complex. This is actually a channel point redemption where we're gonna turn a slob scene on, we're gonna send a chat message, and then we're gonna turn the, so the scene back off. So to do that, we wrote on channel point pushups, so when someone redeems that, that command, that redemption, turn the source pushups on, send a chat, chat message that it's pushup time, and then delay eight seconds. And then we're gonna shut the source back off. Now, an important thing to do after you're done writing this trigger or any trigger is you wanna save this file. But additionally, you wanna to go to your cruise control scene, back to your index file or cr your cruise control source and make sure you refresh the cache of current page. This is gonna send your most recent code back into Streamlabs for the cruise control script to read. So we'll go back to our test scene, let me disable studio mode here. And when I redeem a pushup, we should now get uh, an awesome video and audio scene. Let's try it out here. And redeem. And it worked. And I bet you weren't expecting that scene. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's all I had for you today. If you enjoyed this video or any of the content on the channel, feel free to drop a like or subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're having questions or maybe technical issues, feel free to drop a comment. I'll try and walk you through it. And you can also join the support Discord Cruiser set up uh, through the link below in the comments. Thanks, guys.